City of Grace, Pastor Michael Young, Pastor Richard Jones, we're excited to support this event. We believe in investing our time, energy, and resources into things that are gonna uplift our community and more specifically uplift our young people. Uh, so we subscribe to the vision of the HBCU College Fair. Uh, it is exposure for these young people to higher education opportunities. First of all, my mother, she's an HBCU um, grad as well. She went to Alabama State University. She took me and my friends and my cousins along this HBCU tour. Without her, I wouldn't have had this experience. I seriously love my university. It's literally like such a family. As soon as I stepped on the campus, I was like, I need to go here. This is where I belong. I am the first ambassador representative to have not only been a student um, getting recruited to these HBCUs, but to now be a current HBCU student recruiting um, the students. I could have gotten full rise to OSU and all that good stuff, but I knew that my heart and I knew down deep inside that I deserved and I wanted and desired to be at an HBCU. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, they got a lot of nursing programs and like a lot of number one programs at the HBCUs. I've been to Central State a couple times and then I got accepted into Hampton. So I was thinking about going there. I love it at Hampton University. I love the family atmosphere. I've had professors call, text me, hey, where you at? Hey, this is what we did in class today when I said I wasn't on being there. So they actually care about us and they, and they love us. It feels good to be the majority instead of the minority for once. Just black excellence everywhere. People are achieving great things at Norfolk State and not just Norfolk State, all my HBCU brothers and sisters across the nation. We're all doing amazing things. We're adding to the small percentage of black doctors, nurses, um, physicians, lawyers, things like that. And it's just so remarkable to witness and just knowing our history. Understand more where they come from. And many times understanding your history helps you prepare more for your future. So to see young people who come from the same classrooms, the same neighborhoods and the same communities as these young people do, begins to create a different type of inspiration. Uh, and it makes things uh, appear to be more attainable. I shouldn't be alive. And I have the great testimony of being on the sand that you stay focused and you stay dreaming. You will succeed and you will do great things here in life. Dream big. And I know that sounds really cliche, but you're, the sky's the limit. You could do everything you're destined to do. Many times at predominantly white institutions, right, there's a certain part of our history that is not told or is left out. My father went to HBCU. I'm a product, I was a, I was a football player. And I got a scholarship to play at the University of Akron. Uh, but my father is a product of Central State University, HBCU. Uh, much of my family from the South went to Bethune, Cookman, Florida A&M, uh, predominantly uh, black universities. And, you know, I've kind of been able to glean from them along the way. The real HU, okay? Um, you're interested in medicine? Howard University produces Howard University. Okay, you feel me? You're interested in medicine? Howard University produces the most black doctors in America. Let's speak on it. You're interested in politics? We're right by the right house.